Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, I finally got my wheels and they're just in the background there. But before I show you the wheels, I just wanna say, I went to a Jack Fest show on Sunday and I'd like you to go watch that video and then come back to this. So stop what you're doing right now, pause this, click on that icon. It'll show you the coverage that I filmed on Sunday. I'd really appreciate if you go and give it some support, give it a massive thumbs up because it was the first time I actually put this new camera that I've got into action. So it's not 4K, but um, I'm having problems editing on 4K with this laptop. So I might need to upgrade this. So it's, it can't handle 4K footage. On Sunday, I filmed about 27 gigabytes of data and it's just, uh, it's, this laptop's just too slow. But yeah, anyway, go watch that video and then come back. Now you're back watching this video, I'm gonna be revealing the wheels right now. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like my new wheels. I'm gonna tell you the specs and what they are right now. I'm only gonna say this once, so pause this video, write it down, because I'm only gonna say this once. So these are Work Emotion CR Kiwamis. As you can tell, um, I've gone for a staggered fitment. So this is an 18 by 8.5 ET23. Um, I'm not too sure on the ET on that, but these are the rears. It's got more of a concave profile than the front. These are 18 by 10 and a half ET20, I believe. Um, if I get that wrong, then uh, I'll put it in the video here somewhere. But um, yeah, these are my new wheels. So the plan of today is I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna lower my car to a reasonable height because I've had to raise it for a number of reasons. I also got my clutch done on Saturday. So I'm gonna go out there now and test fit these wheels and see if they fit. I've already tested and fit them once. So with that being said, I'm gonna go outside and work on the car. I know you're probably thinking why I went for whites because they're gonna get really, really dirty really quickly, but uh, I think they just look cool. I actually wanted the Titan Bronze first, but I decided to do a color change midway through the order, so that probably prolonged the ordering process, but it's worth the wait. I'm glad I went with the white now, so. This is the way the car sits at the moment. So it used to be, um, before I raised it, it used to be like down here somewhere, but today I'm gonna lower the S2000 again and uh, test fit the wheels. I've actually ordered some tires as well. So for the rears, I've gone for 225 35-18s, and for the front, I've gone for 205 35-18s. So it's gonna be a lot of stretch, and I know you guys are thinking, all the purest Honda S2000 purists out there that I'm gonna ruin the car, but um, I'm pretty much more of a form over function guy at the moment. I like the stance look, and I like the lowered stretch tires. So enough talking, I'm gonna drop the car and put these wheels on. So I've got a lot of threads to play with. I'm gonna drop the car about an inch and a half. I don't have a tape measure, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. When you want to lower your coilovers, all you need to do is unlock this lower collar and then wind it all the way up to your sort of desired ride height. And then you can either use the spring to turn the, all, the whole entire coilover, or you can just use the C-spanner and the same principle, just wind it all the way down until this bottom piece meets up with your new height. Hope that makes sense. I'm not gonna film the process because it's quite straightforward. Um, I've eyeballed my first measurement and this is how it sits. So my calculations are pretty much bang on. Obviously when I get tires, it's not gonna look like this. We're back to sitting pretty low, but <laughs> almost too low because this thing won't come out now. It's stuck in there, but um, is, this, is it me or is uh, this side lower than the other side? So I have three fingers. Yeah, it is. Um, so I'm gonna have to adjust that, but there's four fingers there. But only three, oh, well, barely, 
just about three fingers there so so all wheels are now on are you guys ready for this boom so all the wheels are finally on but i'm kind of worried about this arch gap right here all the coilovers are pretty much maxed out except for the fronts because uh, the fitment's quite tight already sometimes when you let the handbrake off the car the rear end of the car squats but um, i'm not too sure i don't want to be doing that because there's no tires on the on the front so if the car rolls forward and the car's on a bit of a slant so and the last thing i want is fucking up my new wheels so what do you guys think i think the white goes so well with the color of the car give this video a thumbs up it looks so good i can't wait for the tires to go on and um, that should be coming within the next week fingers crossed or next week i'm not too sure i don't have a confirmation email about the delivery date for the tires but they're on their way and um this arrived today as well so Obviously when you're lowering your car and you're going for an aggressive fitment, you're going to have to roll your arches. So I've bought a fender roller or an arch roller, same thing. I tend to call these fenders for some reason, I don't know why, I watch American videos and I always say fender compared to arch, but they're exactly the same thing. So yeah, I've bought an arch roller and I'm going to try and do this rolling myself, I've never done it. But this isn't the arch roller, this is actually um, a heat gun, the reason why you want to buy a heat gun is because when you are rolling your arches and uh, more than likely um, you're going to chip your paint so what you want to do is you want to heat up um, this area here nice and hot so that the paint does not crack um, i'm going to say it again i've never done it before so i'm looking forward to getting getting stuck in and uh, rolling these arches there is a bit of um, some camber adjustment on the control arm but these are stock ones so when I get my tires done, I'm gonna play around with the stock camber and then find out if I need to get camber arms. More than likely I will because it does stick out a lot. But one last look guys. Here are my new wheels. I can't believe how lowering a car and adding wheels can change and transform the car completely. It's, uh, it's definitely, definitely, an aggressive um, setup but that's what I was after so I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm gonna end today's video here because there's not really a lot I can do um, I'm just gonna be taking the wheels off again so yeah pretty pointless <laughs> but no I wanted to see what they look like once the coilovers are lowered plus I've got a ceramic coating coming through so I'm gonna take them off I'm gonna protect them before putting the tires on so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to come back to the channel if you want to see this car or this build progress because i will be uh, um, completing it very soon i've also got um, parts coming from japan so stay tuned and uh, yeah i'll catch you in the next video guys peace